Hey guys, I know you're about to get your podcast on, so I'll be quick. If at any time you feel like dropping your own opinion into what we're talking about, head on over to FandomNight.com and all of the contact information for every single one of our shows, including the one you're about to watch, is there. All right, guys, I'll leave you alone. Button has yes. been pushed. Let's do it. Let's start that show. We're yes, starting. We might as well. So welcome to Fandom Night, the show that likes to ask the hypothetical question of... Hey, Shane, it's Christmas morning. <laughs> Shane, you got choices, buddy. Christmas morning, Shane. We have two great, amazing Christmas gifts for you. Oh, my God. Bill. Awful. Bill, please present gift number one for Shane for Christmas morning. Shane, they bought you this. No, 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 not they. Okay, okay. Seth. Not yeah, they. technically I did. Seth Boy. bought you Christmas, Shane. Shane, this is Christmas present number one, and I want you to know it's just for you. This is just for you, Shane. Christmas morning, you open this up. How disappointed are you? <laughs> All right. What's the matter, Shane? For, but hey, wait. You don't wait like a second. For those listening to this, he was presented a book labeled Love, Love Bus, Bus Stop. Stop. It is a yaoi 18 plus manga just for Shane. Now the best part is, Scott also thought about you this Christmas. <laughs> Scott, so please present item number B. Keep yes, mine. Number, number B. B. Mine is one for the group to watch. Oh, hell no, I'm not in yeah, on this. Yeah, no. Oh my god. I am not suffering. What did you get? This what is Shane's get? Christmas Shane morning. You guys are knocking down the thing. Tattooed yeah. teenage alien fighters from Beverly Hills. <laughs> yes! He took the gay board! <laughs> yes! yes! The DVD set. And Christmas is, is Christmas awful. is saved once more <laughs> thanks to the armed might. Was that the show that was on USA? Oh, no. I, yes, think so was. Was I think it was. I think it was. Oh my God! I remember this show. Yes. Yeah. Best I Christmas know. gifts oh, yeah. ever. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God! Apollo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, and the and the glowing oh, rock that looked like a giant booger. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Shane, how about you open that there manga, buddy? Get to reading. Oh shit, he's opening it. This just came out. This uh -huh. just came out, and it's super cheap. If you would like 40 episodes of probably the worst. It's Power about. Rangers knockout. I'm gonna have to buy this. It, it, yeah. If you want to get this on uh, Amazon, it'll cost you about 11 with shipping. So. Now, Shane, yeah. because this is your Christmas morning, can you describe the gay porn to us? Yes, <laughs> Shane, please describe how you feel about your awesome gay porn Christmas gift well, of epicness. Chapter one. <laughs> 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 ah, well, okay. oh. well, it's got, uh, you know, just a guy walking to the bus stop checking his watch. Oh. <laughs> Another guy coming up. Don't worry, this is not how the entire panel's going. Yeah. This is oh, just oh. the tip of the iceberg. By the way, by the way, I do got a Christmas gift to actually give. Oh, Shane! Hold on, You hear that? Not to Shane. Oh. oh. To Nick. Shane got his Christmas. Uh, what? Nick got a Christmas? Nick got Christmas. What? Since I didn't get to get it to you around Christmas. Oh, uh, yeah. What's this toy? Oh, shit. An actual physical I copy. I have a physical copy, just in case. Awesome. I appreciate that. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh, second. Hurry up, guys. We still got shit to do. We give great gifts. I want to know. <laughs> it's not ticking, so I'm not about to die. <laughs> I'm still squeamish. Oh, and I'm carrying God. around the T virus in my pocket right now. Oh, my. Well, hurry up, guys. We got shows to do. <laughs> oh, you can talk about shows while I'm trying not to die. Don't I'm just going to open it this way. 
Jesus, oh my. Oh my God. And trust me, I'm a shitty, shitty There's gift so wrapper. much tape. <laughs> Why is there so Shane much tape? Shane just tossed the book. By the way, Shane has tossed the book, yes. Shane! Ah. Shane Metal Brain Drains three-piece puzzle one, set. Two, Hell yeah, I'd play the shit <laughs> out of this thing. Shane, you cannot throw well, your thanks, Christmas Scott. on the floor, man. <laughs> shit. My Christmas is awesome. It's not as good as Shane's, but damn. <laughs> I'm okay with this. Christmas for Nick is all right. You cannot throw your Christmas on the floor, Shane. Tis the season to receive gay sex. <laughs> <laughs> they are receiving. <laughs> so, so okay. anyways, we are the Fandom Knights. That aside, <clears throat> yes, that we, very aside. We have run a podcast in the Peoria area for almost nine years now, oh under multiple <laughs> different names. Yeah. Um, the oh, last several years, yeah, we started as Reploid Productions, and for the last four, <laughs> it's been about four years now. Yeah. About Are the last four the years, label? we have been known as Fandom Night. Um, we talk about all things nerdy. Uh, we do video game shows. We do manga, comics. Um, we have five shows. Yeah, five. And you, we got wrestling first. Uh, me and Seth have the Jabba Wrestling Corner, where we discuss professional wrestling. And if we're able to locally, which I don't think we really touched on. Mm, eh, not really. Yeah. I mean, it, it, one of the last things that we ended up doing is we ended up reviewing the, uh, oh crap, which pay-per-view was it? It was a WWE TLC. Yes, that's it. We just got done reviewing TLC. And now this month, we actually kind of have to cover two? Oh yeah, that's right. Because at the end of the month, there's a uh, NXT, which... Well, scratch that, three. Oh, yeah, yeah, technically you're right, there's three. There's uh, there's an NXT show coming up. I don't want a sticker. But you were made in there's, China. <laughs> there's the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Yep. And technically this month was Wrestle Kingdom. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah, that was See, a show that gotta remind me of happened show. in Japan, so. But yes, we basically, we go back through the entire legacy of professional wrestling. We go back. Or attempt to. Well, yes, attempt to. We try to go back to usually like the first ever pay-per-view, watch it, review it, and discuss what's going on with it. And then we go into more of the current stuff. Now, unfortunately, we try to cover everything, and some of it is try. not awful. Oh my god, is it awful. Oh yes, it's I'm usually also. not drunk enough for half the shit that we watch. <clears throat> But wait, wait, we're 18 plus, plus right? We're 18 plus, right? Yes, we are. Scott, how many What uses the fuck city? Yep. I was about to say, how many uses of, of several curse words have we used already? I'm pretty sure I started I, that off with it. I, I lost fucking count. I don't know yeah, how yeah. fucking many. Yeah, it's kind of true. <laughs> All right, we don't so need to accept wrestling, it. Well, right? yeah. So that's a wrestling. That, that mostly that's covers the wrestling. One. All right. There's only two hosts on that show, to it's be fair. These guys. Um... No disrespect to your show, but I cannot do wrestling. No, that's fine. Well, we, we planned on we having you in everybody. to talk about some of your your past experience with some. I Okay, I'm, I'd be interested to talk about my past history with wrestling, but man, not I'm not reviewing yeah, those shows. Yeah. So hard <laughs> um, Christmas. Show number two. All right, show number two, I'll just, uh, Pages of Fandom is yeah, another one. I was about to say, that's See, all. that's yeah. your show. Pages of Fandom, I basically run that show. I cover... Comic books, manga, and everything that branches off from those, from those aspects. So, um, recently I talked about Suzuka, uh, No Brawl, and now I'm about to go over that new prison school. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap. That is messed up book. No, Shane. Hey, Bill, Shane's got a request for you. Go over a book. I'll review the shit up out of this gay book right here. <laughs> book is all upside down. Wait, what the shit? <laughs> Shane, you put the cover on wrong. When no, was the last I, time you read okay. mine? <laughs> what the shit? Uh-oh. Okay, this I gay broke. book is fucking me up. I'll read it later. <laughs> okay. So, after pages of fandom, we have a third show. That is The Legacy of Gaming. We cover video games. It took us a long time. We reviewed every single Final Fantasy, and then we went from there. We started talking about Punch Out, and we talked Mario, and anything that happens to catch our attention at the time. Most recently, we did Final Fantasy 15. 
So yeah, we, so yeah, we did our first impression to do a first impression on it. <laughs> yes. We, we have a rule with games that we actually review. Um, if the game hasn't been at least a year old, we cannot give it an actual score. So we go by a slightly different grade. So we either do uh, buy it, rent it, or skip it. Yeah. I think is what, how we judge it, right? Show number four. Show number four is probably <laughs> one that we never thought would actually pick up steam as hardcore as it has. Leave that for Phil. Oh, yeah, oh is that five. number five? Okay, yeah, that's that's Technically, it. number four is What's Up Fandom Night, which we basically, that's kind of what we're doing right now. We go over the shows, we discuss how episodes are going, and then at the same time, we usually talk about personal lives, usually within a two-week time frame of what's going on. So I might bitch about, oh, the work sucks. And then Nick will sit down. Oh and be like, man, does oh he god, bitch? Oh my god, me and Nick can go on for a while due to the holidays. <laughs> and it what? just kind of goes from there, and we just kind of get into general <laughs> topics, which can go into all the other shows as well. It's basically a catch-all for everything. There's a couple of you here that were here last year. What's up, Fandom Night features wonderful adventures from Best Buy and other such. Do <laughs> 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 tell us a story. No, no, we're not no. telling the Best Buy stories just yet. No, 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 no we're not there yet. If you guys, I we went, still got about two hours. I so. went back and they fucked me again, so there's a new story. <laughs> that really is interested, but, but yes, those kind of stories make it into there. The last show, which is the did, one that we never thought ooh, would actually boy. pick up. The last show is all thanks to one thing. One thing launched an entire show, which will not go away. Anytime, and just keeps, ever. keeps floodgating like you can't even believe his car broke down. <laughs> and because his car broke down, we got stuck watching the Zurangers Super Sentai for one day. And we talked about it one time. And we have had more requests to talk about costumes than you can possibly imagine. That is the reason we had to review the teenage... Tattooed, Tattooed. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah, that was our Merry, or Merry Happy New Year episode. Yes, this was the New Year's. And we have recently been requested to move on to the Mystic Knights of Terranog. Hey, I remember that show. And yeah, barely. That show was something cool. Something super samurai. That, some, that, that might be a bit of oh, an issue. Superhuman samurai. Concern, it's not exactly yeah. Sentai related. It's more Ultraman. If they want it, I'll do it. I don't care. <laughs> Those are the five shows that we do. So, if anybody has questions, we will cover any topic. That's what we're here to do tonight. We're just hanging out tonight, really. This is kind of, this probably be posted. This, on this is Fandom, Fandom Night. Night Convention Edition Volume 2.0. So well, if anybody has beta. topics. Maybe, maybe 1.5 concerned the last okay, one didn't get posted. In, oh, Final Fantasy 15? I think 15? it was almost unanimous buy it. Yeah. yeah. It, it was basically unanimous buy. I think the only person who had a difference of opinion was me, but that comes down to a matter of I'm broke. I get 35 hours every two weeks. So Instead of buying Final Fantasy 15, he bought Watch Dogs 2 thinking he could borrow 15 from one of the rest of us. Uh, yeah. I beat the game, <laughs> well, and I'm still doing side stuff. Down, yeah, I was about yeah. to say when it comes. I'm down at to over personal, 80 hours, yeah. Yeah. Oh. and I'm not level 99 yet. Oh, wow. And yeah. I'm still got probably another 40 hours worth of side quests and stuff to do. Yeah. So yes, 15 takes a couple minutes to do. Plus, they just <laughs> added a new game plus mode, which I'm probably going to go back and do. So that's probably another 120 hours worth of stuff. I think. That, uh, <clears throat> I think they're yeah, adding more to it. No, it's, it was a free update. Yeah. They were yeah, like, hey, yeah. by the way, guys, we were actually going to add this in. We forgot. We wanted to make sure everything else was working first. Here's a new game plus. If you get the season pass, they're going to have six different things that are going to be coming out for extra content. <coughs> One of them's multiplayer. So you'll be able to do missions with three of your buddies. Oh, nice. To which I'm going to be prompto because I'm the heart of the group. And who else is going to be the crazy jackass who, you know, constantly dies? It's this guy. No, it's also on Xbox One. Okay. Is it? Okay. Yes, yeah. it's on Xbox One and PS4. I think it just isn't on <clears throat> PC right now. Not yet. Yeah. No. We, no, shush. <laughs> You'll get your turn. We have to beta test for you. I've never played Final Fantasy. 15 sounds amazing. 
powerful gen in there right now is PC. I you know. can still play Final yeah. Fantasy IV, Final you. Fantasy III, Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy IX. It'll be out on the computer. I promise oh, you. It'll be no out eventually. Uh, <clears throat> no way it won't be. I and am. when it does come out for the but computer, it'll more no, likely yeah. be the superior version. Especially with mods and stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. with all things gaming, PC versions of games are always going to be 100% better. Mainly because you have a lot of you mod community Batman? supports. Your ability. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with <laughs> certain <laughs> situations <laughs> where it's not 100% true. <laughs> But, for the most part, almost, not, almost 100% of the time, PC will always be better because you have constantly upgrading parts for your system. So, they might be pushing what you have at the time. I'm gonna kill both of you. <laughs> no, actually, I'm not even gonna kill you. Guess what? You two just volunteered for our new line of vaccinations brought to you by Umbrella Corp. Side effects may include four itchy and tasty. Indeed. Low gas mileage, anal skin. Hey, that low gas mileage might be worth it. Hey, yeah. you want to see a picture? Oh my god, no. No, we don't want to see that picture. No. Oh, god. I gotta look at enough pictures. In my other show, it's not going to look at your All picture. I have to say is 15 was exactly what the Final Fantasy series needed to come back. Especially after the 13. Because after the 13 after, series, yeah, it was 13 so and 13 not and 13. 13. I, I've heard some people say that the story is kind of uh, lacks for Final Fantasy standards. Somewhat. Like but the very it's first couple 13, of though. chapters of the game is all free roam. So you'll have a little bit of stuff here and there, and then as you do s certain chapters, it unlocks more of the main map that you can go through until you get to a certain spot where they're like, hey, would you like to take this boat? And eventually you'll be like, all right, yeah, I'll take the boat. And they're like, by the way, once you jump on the boat, you cannot come back. The second you get to the next area, they're like, hey, by the way, go to the end and call that puppy dog that you just saw in that last cutscene. He'll let you go back to that spot we told you you couldn't go back to. <laughs> the I was issue, like, eh. The issue with the storyline is that this game is short. It doesn't sound like it because each of us have like a hundred hours in the game and we're not done. With it's all because we do quests. all the side stuff. But once you beat the game and you go to New Game Plus and you maintain all your stats and stuff, if you were to just go through the storyline, you can beat the final guy of the game at level 34. Well, you, it's just getting to him so is the problem. No, it is not 72 hours. It took me six in-game days, well, may which was about 40 level. minutes. Okay. May now, the on only two, way so. it would take 72 hours... So you know the battle I'm speaking Yep, of. it's the Adamantois fight. Okay. Yeah, you fight a mountain. Yep, you fight a giant mountain that is actually a turtle oh, that, that sat thing. there for so long and was so fat. It grew a mountain. Oh, that thing. If there's one what thing Final about? Fantasy 15 does So it's well, Seth in about 100 it's years. Scale. <laughs> scale feels real in Final Fantasy 15. It's better than... I mean, things are big in other games, but they don't feel big. Like, okay, a dragon in Skyrim is big, but he's, he's just a dragon, and something about him doesn't feel that big. It's hard to explain, but in Final Fantasy 15, when something is big, it it's is big. really yeah. big. Look at like, the Iron Giants. It feels big. So your guy is like itty bitty tiny dude compared to Iron Giant. And Which normally, mountain, Iron Giant, your Final Fantasy characters always come up past his knee. And this one, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's about You're the shape. size of his ham-sized fist. How is the uh, OST? Oh, the soundtrack? Yeah. 15 soundtrack is actually really good. Yeah. I, I found myself actually jumping back into its soundtrack while riding it around in the car. And then the other soundtracks. Is it more of, um, like, uh, your actual, like, fantasy type or harder? Uh, it's, it's got a very unique blend. Because there's some stuff that feels kind of like old and, uh, like the old fantasy type stuff. Yeah. Um, they got some techno-y type stuff to kind of get you jamming out while you're on the way to somewhere. Yeah. And it's actually just got some just beautiful melodies that it has thrown yeah. in there with some And then that's what I look for, the, the 
standard soundtrack that I always measure. On Welcome. Okay. Come take a seat. <clears throat> is uh, from the Shenmue series. So. Shenmue actually had a good soundtrack. Yes, yes, it did. Um, and another one of those big up or big things 15 had is the second you boot up the game, they did one of the best things ever that they could have. They said a Final Fantasy for both fans and first timers. That's what it says from the yeah. start. That's the second you pop it in, it goes, thing, bam. A game for both fans and first timers. And I'll tell you one thing, going around and hunting down all the uh, extra soundtracks that you can oh, buy, yeah. except for 12 because 12 looks garbage. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hate on it. <laughs> I, I bought the import of one that was like uh, 13. It came with the Japanese uh, drama disc or whatever. Mm. Jeez. Yeah. Wow. That was, that, was bad. that was bad as Shane spending, what, 200 okay. some? <laughs> Shane bought the master ridiculous, I have a lot of money edition of 15. He bought the $270 Yeah. <laughs> you know, you should have brought that statue. I probably should have. Yeah. I didn't think about that. That would have been cool. Which is kind of the only thing that's kind of decent with the version that Shane bought, is if you bought like one of the ridiculously priced ones, everything literally is half price. Because Shane literally, he was like, oh yeah, no, all I got to do to get an ex you know, a bunch of extra experiences, I go drive down to the shore, right? And off the shore, there's a hotel that's like really lavish and fancy. I just pay him 5,000 gil. Everybody literally... You mean 10,000 gil, right, goes, Shane? You mean 10,000. He goes, no, five. Here we go, it's 10. No, it's five. Shane, Shane how much do you pay for gas? Five gil. Shane oh, paid. Got to pay ten. Shane paid you half do. price on everything but the restaurant food. Are these all mechanics you're talking about? It was a special code that the super <gasps> epic <Jank>. level <laughs> collector's edition that only Square Enix's store sold, and they made it. How many, Shane? Five thousand. Forty thousand. Forty thousand. So there were forty thousand made. And they're like, you're going to get this sweet Knox statue, this cool art book, this soundtrack, this sweet steel book case, this awesome box that it's going to come in. Oh, by the way, we're not actually going to tell you about this until after you get it. Um, here's a code for half price. Enjoy being rich. Yeah. So when Shane was like, <coughs> yeah, I only paid 5000 me and Bill were losing it. And I was like, well, man. It must be awesome to be rich because us poor folk have to pay the poor folk tax. Yeah. When we want to sleep in a nice place, we got to pay double. I told them I spent $270 on this game. I deserve half off. It's true, he did. It's, it's, a lot it's of kind money. of true. So, and Shane, the, uh, was it a statue or a figure that it's you a, got? It's a play arts kai. It's a play arts kai? Uh, so, the play arts kai figure of Noct, I would probably say by itself, would, how much? Yeah, it is. That's it's about what I was going to say. The Play Arts Kai is probably one of the best um, for all of the Boy, action the figures and stuff. They are extremely detailed. Um, mm -hmm. Trying to remember how big most of them are. What like the figures? Yeah, the Play Arts. The Play Arts Kai's are definitely something for collectors. But Maybe. if you're just wanting, they're not that big, but they're pretty hefty. Shane, how big's your player's guy guy? Uh, stands about that is he that? Oh shit, maybe he is that big. Maybe. So, Scott, go ahead yeah, and flip your mic back up. So, be bigger because he's the bigger dude. so about that, Shane, right? Yeah. Oh, not that tall. So, at least to, how about take the mic off real quick? How about that? Yeah, roughly. Roughly. So, here, Scott, hand me that real quick. All right, so that way our audience here can see from base to the top is about how big the figure is. And it is extremely detailed. No so it's not just some little... It's not something that you would go to um, Toys R Us or the Family Dollar, especially not the Family Dollar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? We gotta go, yeah. we gotta go. If you're going family, no, family no, dollar, no, I was, Ranger toys. <laughs> that's, that's why I was like, oh God, we still have to go hunt down the knockoff Ranger like toys. <laughs> We we actually had to go hunt down all of the knockoff Power Ranger toys. At the some ones point. that we can find. Yeah. <laughs> because we decided that we need to have those to give the shame. I feel your poor man pain all week long. 
Yesterday and most of today, I was eyeballing that uh, Mia statue from Monster Masume, the one vendor had. Mm -hmm. Like, oh yeah, you know, they only got four on Amazon, it's 285. Like, oh, God. Yeah, yeah, it's mm -hmm. only 285. Or like the uh, the Zaku alarm clock that we saw that was pretty sweet, but it was oh, missing a it. part. It's 150 almost... bucks, but it's missing one third of it, so we'll give it to you for 100. Yeah, it's what? it's it's missing the horn. It's an MS06S, Shar Aznable's design. Yeah. It, yeah, so it was missing the antenna part that, you know, the one thing that made it stick out and be right. awesome, so was it was like, missing that, so they're like, we'll knock 50 bucks off, even though it's one third of it. I was just like, oh, I got that money in savings, but there's no way I could just buy yeah, money. Yeah. Right! No See, way. actually, you know what, that, that's we, actually something we could talk about, Bill. I know somebody bought it. This, this is an anime con. Somebody's yeah, going to exactly. buy something. Yeah, they bought it like last year. They had to pay taxes on it, too, so it was over yep. 300 yeah. Damn! Yeah. Yeah. It, it, but it's kind of the same thing. Like, last year I showed up, and last year I actually had money, because since I, you know, <laughs> lost my job, I cashed in my 401k. So I had, like, 10 grand. I was like, taking a grand, going to the con. Fuck yeah. So literally, I show up. Didn't you like, buy like four grab bag boxes that were like a hundred bucks each? Uh, no, I grabbed one grab bag box. Uh, I was standing behind a couple, and they walked up like literally right in front of me, and I saw that Sailor Moon replica wand that I. <laughs> oh got yeah, and you got that for Shelly. And they were like literally, they grabbed it and they're like, "How much?" And the lady goes, 200 And they go, "Oh," and set it down. And I literally just said, "Here's money." <laughs> have walked right the fuck away. <laughs> Seth, like a, Seth rolled yeah, up, real, whipped out the big boy wallet, and said, shut gold. up and take my money. It's, yeah. it's real gold, it's life-size, it's full replica, it came with the stand, it's still, it's sitting at my house right now, yeah. and it's sitting very high in my house right now, because <laughs> well, I got this little girl that would be like, ooh, Sailor Moon, and now there's no telling what would happen to and it. And Tiny yeah. Child Unit does not need to be playing It lights up, yeah, it, exactly. has, it has noises and everything <clears throat> like that. It's, it's relatively this big after everything oh. was put together. Actually, let, let's take a quick poll. Who here has kids? Okay, never mind. <laughs> who, here, who here has family members that have children that you have sometimes watched at one point or another? Okay, so y'all know how destructive we little children be. I just bought a house, which is one of the reasons why I'm so fucking broke. But it's all mine. Nobody else is there. No freaking kids are there, so I can display. See, all you my sir family. are living the dream. I am. Man. But yeah. for the rest of us, for the rest of us who have to deal with tiny children from time to time, yeah. you have to make sure that all the cool stuff is not destroyed into 10,000 tiny little pieces. <laughs> oh, oh, you mean you mean kind of like the time my PlayStation 4 broke because my girlfriend's kid put a penny in the fucking disc drive? Oh my god! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, it was so then awesome! Again, oh, I was <laughs> Then again, you also have to keep certain new electronics and, away from me because I might go, ooh, what's this do? And how long did it take you to get it back, Seth? Uh, well, technically it took like six months, but that was kind of my fault. I called a dude and he got really pissed off at me because I think I took it to like iMobile Medics because I dropped my phone. So I was like, here, fix my phone. By the way, here's my PlayStation. Can you figure out what's wrong with it? And I'm like, yeah, we'll dick around with it for a bit. So, okay, cool. So I call him like a month after I'd left my PlayStation there and I was like, I left a PlayStation 4 there. Have you guys fixed it? And the dude goes, you don't fucking tell me when shit's done. I'll tell you when shit's done. And I said... Oh, hell no. Wait, wait. A dude at a business? Yeah. That so man said, was not oh, having any of Seth's shit that day, Bill. No shit. Yeah. That man, that man had stuff no to do. Shit. He will get to you when he's damn that's, good that's ready. literally exactly. It was like, I'm a medics. I said, hey, uh, I left a PlayStation 4 there. I was just wondering if you guys had it done because I hadn't heard anything. And he's like, you don't tell me. And I'm like, I'll be right over. So I show up, and I'm like, you give me my shit, you give me a refund, or else. And dude was like, oh, well, yeah, don't worry about it. We've almost got it figured out. Like, we figured out it's a penny in there. We just got to replace the disc and, you know, the, the eye in there, and everything will be fine. And I said, cool. You guys got about a month. I forgot. Yeah. So it was kind of on me. Oh, wow. I had no internet at the time. The fuck am I playing online? That's all I had is online games. So I said, screw it. It wasn't until later on I was like, hey, they got this new game coming out. Coming out. It's Wait, Cayman, Cayman out. out. Yeah, it's Cayman, 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 Cayman out. It's the Cayman Out Islands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's what Shane's going to be doing later. Yeah, exactly. To his new book. To his new book. He does have a new yeah. book. What do you mean later? <laughs> Bus stop. He better yeah. not be. Yeah, I can get that right back. What? His book. I'm reviewing this book right now. That's what you're talking about. <laughs> 
Oh right. shit! There's some shit going on no, in this no, one. I, just, I can't see how people could spend the outrageous amount of money on some of this stuff. I mean, it's like it seemed priced a little high. And I did do some yeah. research. This on book the is kind of boring. When does the fucking happen? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm way into this book. There ain't a penis anywhere. I'm Wait, did you say did you say they need that on a t-shirt? Because I 100 percent agree. Look how much of this book I'm throwing. This this is boring. When's the fucking happen? T-shirt. Bill, we need this t-shirt. Go! There's a lot of, there's a lot of yeah, people exactly. in suits. We need to make like blanket. seven t-shirts. We need to show you exactly. Dude walking. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find fucking. Isn't it? <laughs> Shit. No. Shane saw where the fucking was in it. All right, technical question. Um, I'm going to <laughs> That's it. That's it. Ooh. That's it. No, that can't be it. You want more? How much did you pay for this? Like thirty-five bucks. This ain't no no thirty-five bucks. I just picked some shit. This is just dudes laying down. <laughs> Shut up. I'm trying to find right. Yeah, but we have an actual question, asshole. Go ahead. So you said your PS4 has been collecting a lot of dust. It still works, but... It, it's, it's perfectly fine. I'm just, uh... Is it making any noises? No, no, nothing. Then I mean, you, sir, must have the god PS4. Because if you've got a lot of dust collecting on top of it, it means it's not actually pulling it in. Okay. Which is a good thing. Okay. This bothered you? Now, if, if, it, if it did get in, I mean, what? I got scared of it. Basically, the best yeah, thing you can do with electronics... There ain't a dick in this I... book! <laughs> this is not... There ain't a dick in this book! And this descends into madness <laughs> once again. This is, a, this is basically an episode. Oh, wow! Down to a T right here. I was um, fix your problem. Get yeah. a couple cans this, of compressed air. Yeah. If you bend, you got a compressor this at home. This is dudes yeah. lay down um, next to each other. Just they eat gently cereal. blow into the vents at least two times a month is usually what I do. And then it'll just like blow it off the bottom. Or it, it'll it'll kick it out to the other vents. So what you're wanting to do is hit the back big vents first, and then try to get into the smaller vents because that'll push the rest of it back out. Um, but that's usually one of the best things to do with electronics. If you got a computer at home, pop the case open, spray it out a little bit, at least twice a month, depending on how dusty your house is. If it's not super dusty, once a month's fine. If it is dustier in all Hades, or if you happen to have a lot of animals, um, hit that bitch at least once a week. Oh, hit the sponge? I have okay. seen a computer catch fire once. <laughs> at a workplace. Because the IT guy was an idiot. Guess who fixed the computer? They're like, oh, well, the IT guy's gone for the next two weeks, but you did this stuff in the army, right? Fuck. Yeah. yeah. No, they were like, also, the clock on the wall's not been working. I'm like, you motherfuckers. Yeah. So when I was in the army, when I was in the army, my job was a signal system support specialist, radio operations repair boy. Um, I was a 25 uniform. It was my MOS number. Everyone actually called us 25 universal because if it had an electronic wire in it, we had to know how to fix it. If we didn't know how to fix it, well, we had to fake it. Uh, one day in the shop, I got six phone calls and I really wish they were, were pranks. I really wish. We actually sent people out for this, just to double check. Uh, we had six people go, oh, the clock on the wall's not working. Have you checked the batteries? How do I do that? I'll send somebody over. Yeah, these were people that, you know, uh, just... One group was a bunch of MPs. That's military police. Uh, we had a couple cooks, which I can kind of understand those guys. They were too busy flipping patties. Um, I, I job security when they get out. I mean, McDonald's needs experienced people, right? No. You're right. Actually, <laughs> they wouldn't hire you. Um, trying to remember who else. I had actually some 25 Bravos, which were our network admin guys. So the guys who were supposed to be able to set up all of our internet and make sure that we could play our games and stuff, yeah, they, they couldn't figure out the clock on the wall either. I was very disappointed that day. Bill, what you got? Still going to talk about dicks? There ain't a dick in the book to talk about. <laughs> I told you I was trying to remedy it. 
<laughs> would uh, would collecting dust on a PS3 would that have contributed to the yellow light of death? Possibly. Um, the big problem with the yellow light of death for PS3s is it's an overheating issue with the system. So you're either dealing with the thermostat exploded, which happened to Bill twice. Yeah. Um, what are you talking you about? Know no, it did. When the actual thermostat explodes, or it just it'll just not turn on anymore, or it'll turn on for a few <laughs> minutes and then kick itself off. Yeah, that's what happened. And then the oh no, that only happened to one of your systems, didn't it? And then you got pissed off. No, the only yellow light I ever no the the one where it kicked on and off. Like every five minutes. Yeah, the only yeah, yellow the light I ever had it was the power source. Yeah, the power supply will go out for yellow lights, which you're looking at dust in there. It shorts out the power supply. You're looking at a power surge. Um, a kid shoves a fucking penny in there. Yeah. I, I read that if like my Netflix is freezing, that that could be a sign of yellow light down the road. It's a possibility, but do you have your uh, PS3 set up? Wireless or hardwired? Uh, wireless. Try hooking it up uh, hardwire. Okay. Because that usually fixes a lot of connection issues. Um, and then try dusting it out and see if that helps anything out. That is my goal for 2017 to get out my lazy ass and actually start to do a lot of wireless. <laughs> it's all right. My goal for 2017 is not to kill these pricks. <laughs> t- vaccine, Bill. <laughs> is it more than 90% of you know, I have kept Which I've kept my New Year's resolution year. for the last twelve years. So what happens when you set the bar low? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I have two goals: don't kill myself and don't kill you guys. I have succeeded every year. You keep the bar low and everything's good. Yeah. One more quick question: I gotta cut my rights after. Yeah, what's um, up, man? So if I do, uh, if I really enjoyed the uh, Shadow soundtrack. You should. Um, if anything, um, go on to YouTube. Just check out some of the Final Fantasy 15 OST. See if you actually enjoy any of it. Um, I mean, if I if, play the game, I won't have a choice. It'll be, you know, well, no, that's actually one of the upsides. Is like the battle music is rocking, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, you can buy a portable CD player for Noctis. So that way, while you're just walking around, you can actually kick on one of the other soundtracks that you buy. Oh. They've got soundtracks from Final Fantasy 1 all the way up through freaking Dissidia 2. You pretty much control the music that you're hearing. Yeah. yeah. So you have you full like, control. If Final Fantasy 6 was your favorite music, you can buy that soundtrack and then you can get the uh, the little get portable the iPod MP3 player. Or whatever it is, whatever the portable music player, which you can buy from your car, which is really weird. Yeah, it's like 100 gil. You get in your car and then you go to the shop in your car and then. You buy, you buy it. it from your car. Yep. You buy yeah. it from your car. Well, you know, there's shops everywhere where you can buy stuff, but the only way to get the music player is you go to your car, get in it, and then while you're driving, you push the the middle button. You can do this also when you're not. Driving. I was you 60 hours the into the game before you told me that and too. And it'll bring up a menu on the navigation thing, and at the bottom it says shop, and you can shop from your car, and it's the only place you can buy it, and then you can listen to whatever you want anywhere on the world map at any time. It's also handy to pick up some potions on the fly. Yeah, well, I'm, this gentleman here, Final Fantasy 15, will be my first, my actual first complete Final Fantasy game, so. Definitely pick up all the other soundtracks too, though, because I, I'm usually the big music guy when it comes to the gaming stuff. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of good soundtracks that you can pick up. Um, nine's not as great as some of the others, but like six is always one of the best. Seven's got some good tracks. Um, if you want like a sampling from all of the others, definitely hunt down the Dissidia one and two. Give um, me something to throw at him. Who? Shay. He's over here being like 12 seven dollars. Throw it. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Hey Scott, thanks for the best Christmas gift ever. I have I have ammo against Shane now. I still have two more. Because I sure as hell can't solve these damn things right now. I'm too tired. So Yeah, no problem, man. You have a good one. Be safe. Try and stay warm. It is freezing balls out. It's not as bad as last night. No, last night was terrible. Tonight, at least, the wind's not kicking up as hardcore as it usually does. I think it was like two degrees yesterday. No, it was in the negatives with wind chill. Windchill was like, hi guys, we heard you had a convention this weekend. Yeah, when I started Echo up, I turned over so slowly, I was like...
She fired up and the alternator belts and pulleys started screaming under the hood. It's like, oh my Be God. glad it started. Last year, I got stranded here on the Saturday night. Yeah. I was driving my Blazer. My battery died because sub-zero temperatures and shitty 1998 battery. I got one better for you. I and then the tires froze to the concrete. No, I got one even better than that for you. We had Echo last year, and that was before the roof rack was done and stuff, and I went out, it was after oh, we yeah. had snow and crap, went out there to put something in it, you know, and I shut the door. Oh, that's right! Oh, door shit! Was open. Oh, yeah. Shut the door, all four it, doors froze open. Now, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. You yeah, cars one. are very temperamental when it when you know Mother Nature decides to say, "Yeah, I'm kind of having a hot flash right now. Let's just <laughs> let's just crank down the AC a little bit. Let's cool this off." Illinois weather. <laughs> yeah, Illinois weather, where you might actually fix your AC in the winter and your heat in the summer. You, ma'am. Speaking of Illinois weather, it's gonna be 50 on Tuesday. Holla yes. fucking luya! <laughs> it's like I have, I have. Today off, I got tomorrow off, I got Monday off, so I get to spend my time indoors sipping on my Earl Grey, watching me some Star Trek Next Generation, because I will make it so, damn it. Yeah. I'm going to play me some that? Final Fantasy, and then I'm going to go to work on Tuesday and not have to wear three or four layers of clothes to not freeze to death as I walk through the door. I am okay with this. <coughs> Yeah, I know. Bill, Bill's just giving me that look. Bill freezes to death every night because there's no heat in his building. Yeah, I was about to say, you're talking about going into a building. I work outside. Yeah. I work outside. Yeah, actually. Work in a heated yeah. truck. Get shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shane gets to roll around in a forklift going, doo, 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 doo. Yeah, yeah, sitting around reading this here. Uh, Oh terrible, no! Terrible yeah, book actually, yeah, yeah, I look forward to oh, hearing missed, about you reading you just that at got work. Here, since you just got here, if you would like, you could take a look at this gay porn. <laughs> <laughs> it was Shane's Christmas gift. It's yeah. the one he chews. Shane so, is also the one at the end with the shitty hat. There's not a single dick oh, in the book. Yeah, it's the Overwatch hat. Yeah, it's shitty. <laughs> so I gotta ask. I'm, I'm sure you guys reviewed the 2009 Ghostbusters video game, right? Actually, I don't think we did review it. But we did have a lot of fun with it. What about the last... The, the Ghostbusters game that's on the 360 and the PS3. Oh, you though. mean the actual sequel? Yeah. The, the, the third yeah. movie? Ghostbusters 3. Okay, do you mean is there a review out for it? No, yeah. but did we play the hell out of it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's, the other two we've gotten more recently. The uh, Sanctum of Slime. Of I played that game. Uh, oh, oh, you mean the game Sanctum that's a sequel Slime. to the new movie? Yeah. It, it, Sanctum of Slime feels... Uh, wasn't that the top-down Contra-esque type one? Or no, Contra. not Contra, um, Gauntlet. You remember Smash TV? That one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it feels like. There's a bunch of ghosts that come out at you, and you're in a square area, and then the buttons are real simple. You hold a direction, and that shoots the proton pack. No, I'm good. And then just you have four different after. kinds of beams, and then the ghosts, if they're yellow ghosts, you have to hit them with a very specific kind of beam. The blue ghosts, specific kind of beam. Green ghosts, specific kind of beam. Yada, yada, yada. And then, it, for what it's worth, I'm not going to tell you that game is great, but you could waste some time on it. You can get up to four players, and it's a lot like playing the old Super Nintendo Smash TV. Uh, or it could turn into a good drinking game. What about the ripoff of Sanctum of Slime, though, from the reboot? Yeah, what the, reboot? The, the recent Ghostbusters game. What? What recent game? <laughs> huh? I'm sorry, I work at GameStop as a retail, as, as a manager there. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. There is no new Ghostbusters Are you wanting to talk I, about the I new movie? I like you guys. No, hold, hold on. <laughs> get, get, get more hatred of it, that's all. Cause, Cause, get, I'll talk should all we, about should we that pull, movie. Uh, <laughs> should we pull one of our favorite characters from the Sentai show in? Well, no, oh, because the game... Don't of, view that oh. plot hole! <laughs> no, the, the game that's supposed to be... No. Really Stop. <laughs> just about completely ignores the new movie, too. That's something. <laughs> really? Yeah. You, you mean you removing, removing, removing the straps to make it classic Ghostbusters costume? Mm -hmm. So you play as four new people that have nothing yeah. to do with the movie that it's promoting? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, hell, I might actually play that then. Yeah. yeah See, the thing is, I, I'm a big fan of the old Ghostbusters, just like everyone else up here. Same. I have still not seen the new Ghostbusters movie, but for one reason. It wasn't the cast, it wasn't all the hate that was flying about it. 
is because Bill told me one thing, and it's one thing that's one of my biggest pet peeves during comedy shows. All the jokes lasted too long. Yeah. I... I, like, Family Guy? Everyone here has seen Family Guy, right? Show of hands of who hasn't. Awesome. So you all already pretty much know where I'm going with this. Peter Griffin trips, falls, and goes, ah! The first three times, all right, you're still just like, ha, 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 that poor bastard. The ninth or tenth time, you're like, fucking Christ, go to the commercials already, please. This is what I like the most. Well, I hate to admit it now. Scott, throw that at Bill. I still got one left. I hate to admit it. I need to give it my money, but I have seen it, and I want two hours of my life back, honestly. It, See, the one thing that I was actually looking forward to, to being able to watch that movie, was to see Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd and um, Ernie Hudson in there. It's like I was, well, we couldn't get Harold Ramis because reasons. You, you, you got his bust. You got his bust. That's yeah, we got, we got the bust of Harold Ramis. But from what I heard, it was like Bill Murray dies, like... Yeah. Oh, you mean dead? You mean Bill Murray, Walter Peck? Yeah. No, that's an insult to Walter Peck. Seriously. Yeah. It was like Bill Murray walks on screen dead, and then Dan oh. Aykroyd. Didn't you say it was so forced you like almost wanted to leave the theater, Bill, because of Dan Aykroyd? He ain't afraid of no ghost, but he's not going to Chinatown. But he'll he'll crack off like a ridiculous long thing that a cab driver should never know about a ghost. Are you wanting me to talk about this movie? Because I watched it. Yeah, that's why I'm asking the question, Bill. Did you hate it? Yeah, Bill, get a mic. <laughs> Scott right. wants no part of this. Because I didn't see it. I've heard shit about it. I watched and I didn't mean shit. Wait, I got my ammo back. Can I give you something? Here's one thing. Here's one thing real quick. For anybody that defended this movie on this aspect, and this pisses me off, okay? I'm fine with the whole women should be equal, because they should. Yeah. It's a little bullshit. We live in a different world. It's 2017, yeah. we're not in the fucking 30s, and there's nothing, that, there's nothing that I can do that you can't do. But you cannot defend this movie on the aspect of sexism, where people said, well, you're just sexist, and that's why you don't like the movie, because it's an all-female cast. That's bullshit, because the movie itself is fucking sexist. Oh and it's not sexist against women. And this is what irritates me. It's sexist against men. There is not one, not one single male character in the movie who is respectable in any way whatsoever. Nope. Any way. They're either completely it's too stupid to They're stupid. They're, they're stupid or they're complete assholes. There's not one good representative of a decent person, male, in the movie. That's that's my first problem, is right. how they defended the movie like I say, and what it turned out. Because he had a purpose. He was doing his job as an EPA environmentalist. Bill Murray's character is just being a dick for the sake of being, being a dick. dick. So he was playing Bill Murray, it's okay. No, he wasn't even playing. No. No, oh my God. The cameos God. are awful. The cameos are awful because they're, look, there's a science to cameos. And you see this in a lot of different movies and Ghostbusters simply got it wrong. A cameo that works and the only one that friggin' works and I said, look, I'm even censoring myself because I hate the movie. Look, the only cameo that works in the whole movie is the fucking dead guy. That says a lot. The man who could not be in the movie gets the best cameo. He's a statue bust. I get all the information I need. He's present. We move on. We go to the next cameo where they introduce Bill Murray. And he's a dick for the sake of being a dick. Like, he shows up and he's like, I don't believe in ghosts, but I'm like the, I'm the resident greatest person ever, the, the mastermind of all that, which is, and I'm going to tell you whether this is real or not. He goes into their office, he demands to see the ghost, the ghost kills him? They threw, they threw their cameo out of a window onto the city street and he died. And what's really bizarre about it is the cameo is already bad enough and then you kill the character that you were bringing in, and then the next cameo that they do doesn't even make sense. He's a cab driver that spouts off a bunch of proto-nonsense, and then right after that, he basically tells you, I don't go to Chinatown. I don't have, I don't have any problem with these uh, level five class blah blah apparitions, but I don't go to Chinatown. 
and it, just, it feels forced and it feels stupid. It really does. And then you go to the last cameo of the movie and somehow this guy did not realize that he never got his car back. So there's once again, he's stupid. He lent his car to somebody. It never came back. And he never noticed it until he had to deliver dead people. Well, see, that's one thing I actually did like about the reboot was that piece of shit actor mobile getting fucking trashed as it was driven down the street, bouncing off of other cars like <laughs> pinball. I was like, yeah! <laughs> Every joke in that movie has merit until they tell the joke. <laughs> It's really weird. It's a bizarre, like, like I said, they mess up the science of how that movie should work. Because they tell a joke, like they go out into the yard, in the back of the alley. And this is true, we, we've discussed this before, when you use the proton pack, it's supposed to feel like one man trying to handle a fire hose. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's probably difficult to do. So when the, she, she fires it and it knocks her on her ass, and I said, that's pretty funny. Then whips her across the alley, she never bothers to turn the pack off, and the joke continues for quite literally like a minute and a half. Yeah, it becomes like cartoon. <laughs> yeah, she flies around the alleyway, and then she ends up somehow straddling the proton gun, and she's in the air, and she's like spinning around in circles, and the lady says, it runs out of juice after about 10 minutes, she'll be fine. Well, it's not funny anymore. Yeah, do we need to watch the joke for 10 minutes? And, and we kind of do. Yeah. And how easy is it to flip off a proton pack? Because you're a resident uh, Ghostbuster the guy. The new proton packs are different. All you do is hold the button to fire. So if she took her thumb off, well, she'd fall on the, the ground. Well, that's proton packs function, too. If you can take your thumb off a button, right. it's off. <laughs> and the new one is way more streamlined than the old one. It looks a lot more professional, which also <sighs> defeats think, part of the joke. I think they look backwards. Like it's, I, When I first saw the well, picture of it, I was like, it's upside down. It'll never work. Well, what I mean by what I mean is that they're sleeker. Part of the joke to the Literally. original stuff was that these guys had no money. They made their proton packs and sophisticated scientific technology out of parts they stole from the dumpsters in, in like Radio Shack. Well, they sold. They put it well, it sure as hell wasn't out. Best Buy. But where did they get their money from? Right. It's like okay, we can't afford the firehouse because it's too many dollars a month. Okay, well, where do you get the rest of your money? Uh, it, I, I actually laughed at one joke, but they dragged it out, like you said, they oh, dragged it out too much. It was the one where they're arguing back and forth on whether or not the guy crapped his pants. And what made me laugh was, I, you did, because you left a voicemail on my phone that said, oh god, oh god, my underwear is smoked, or some or toast, or something like that. That was the one joke I laughed at. But it was just... It's really weird. Filler. It was just a filler as all. Well. It's like every time... They well, it sounded like that dude filled his pants. Well, yeah. okay, they, they take other jokes, like when the guy goes over, when Thor hears the phone ring, and he tries to answer it through the fish tank, and he puts his hand against the fish tank, and he's like, oh. And then he does it again, and then he does it again, and then he does it again, and I'm like, look, you're no longer stupid. Like, you might be suffering mental retardation. Like, maybe you're not supposed to be functioning out here in society. Without help. Yeah, you might need assistance. <laughs> and then somehow he rides motorcycles and... And, 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 and they well, cut... that was when the completely forgettable villain... Um, Possessed him. He's a super villain. <laughs> he got me. Uh, takes over his body. And at that point, I'm just kind of like, okay, well, if the, guy, if the villain is this closet case who people picked on him and he's never done anything in his life. How do you know how to ride a motorcycle? Dude. Because science, damn it. That whole movie is just straight up ass. I hated it for the props, the pictures they were releasing. None of them made any sense. And if you actually Yes! Gumby's in the house! Oh, if you actually saw I approve. If you actually saw a close-up of the motorcycle. Wait, now I feel like I can't cuss anymore. <laughs> That's childhood but right there, gummy, Bill. Damn it. That's childhood, dang it. <laughs> Can't be cussing in front of childhood. Yeah, I was going to say, gummy Okay, well, no fuck it then. No more? <laughs> yeah, the worst thing that I saw was there's two blasters on the handlebars of this, the motorcycle they did. I was like, it's just a fucking dirt bike. Well, they did a high-res photo they released. So I was like, what is that? So I zoom in on these blasters. They're duct tape. Well, see, 
if you have to, you know, mount something to something in a hurry, duct tape is probably one of your best options. Yeah, but if something this It is the 40 mile an hour tape. If, if this is if this is a fire hose, <laughs> what is something twice as big gonna do for recoil? Duct tape. Backflip for style. But Bill, since you hate it, we can be friends. <laughs> you hear that, Bill? You made a friend. Shane got awesome Christmas. Dude, he did. They, I got I got pretty cool Christmas, and you got a friend. They wrapped that book. You had to unwrap that book. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Shane. You literally. You had actually to accepted that book. Christmas. I'm proud of you. Something in that book is so graphic that you can't see it. Oh boy. But he still chose gay porn over tattooed teenage alien fighters from he Beverly really Hills. Did. That says something about that show. That show is awful. Great. Now we are gonna have to watch it. Well, no. This is this is the running theme with our group of friends. Like anytime we bring someone new in and they start actually hanging out with us, the first time you get a pass. Second or third time, we might still forget about it, but by the fourth time, somebody remembers and goes, oh, hey, they still need to go through initiation. Oh, episode 15 is a nightmare on Rodeo Drive. This, it, Bill, is this going to be... files in this it, Is this going to be our new initiation <laughs> thing instead of Battle Arena Toshiden 2 on the PlayStation 1? Dude, everybody has to play Battle Arena Toshiden 2. <laughs> everybody yeah. ever, anywhere, at any time All has right. to play that awful game. How many yes, people I here have played a fighting game before? Alright, for the people who haven't, have you at least seen one before? 2D fighter game, just go at each other, beat the shit out of each other, one person wins. Usually you got buttons and combos. Battle Arena Toshiden 2 does not. You have prayed to God that you can spam the circle button faster than the CPU can go, hey, I have this epic move. And then sometimes you can press up and jump, or sometimes you'll sidestep. Or sometimes you'll crouch. You're just mad because you always from pressing up. Oh no! Face. I was one of the first Seth. people to beat this what? knife. Oh, knife. Oh no! <laughs> no, no! Stuff. Don't give that to him. Don't give sharp, pointy objects. Knife. <laughs> Keep that shit away from me. So That's why I grabbed the one on my right side. It's worse. Think like if so you gotta Tekken prepare. and Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter all had a child together at the same time and then dropped it on its head <laughs> down 12 flights of stairs and out a window. Is this seriously three fucking discs? Four. It's four it discs. La it, it landed in a pile of pillows I'll take this as my Christmas gift. that <laughs> also happened to contain <laughs> no, some no, rusty no, needles. Yeah. Shane, you made your decision. Tis the season which, to receive gay sex. Just which like, is <laughs> Just like two years ago was the season to receive man purses. Now, we gave you we gave you a choice between gay dudes and tattooed, tattooed teenage, teenage alien, alien fighters, fighters from, from Beverly, Beverly Hills. Hills. There's really no difference. You chose gay dudes. <laughs> <laughs> See, and the really sad thing is, we, me and Bill actually found a copy of Battle Arena Toshiden three, and Should we the second we aliens? saw that we're like, they made a fucking nether one. They made way more than that. They made seven, I think. We sat down and we were there's, like, there's oh, five for PlayStation Two, I think. Is there? Are you really oh really shit! That? We so need to awesome. we need to actually get some more of that. Because you know, because are about to happen. Battle Arena Toshi yeah, Two was terrible, <laughs> and so we had no expectations whatsoever going into three. Three had two of the coolest fucking characters ever. One of them was Michael Jackson. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, no, yeah. His, his name was called Ten Hat. Because you seem like you've played it. Oh my god, it's live so action. So three had cartoon. Michael Jackson. No. He had, he had the smooth criminal outfit on with, with, the, uh, with a top hat instead of the fedora. Yeah. And he had one white glove. That dude kicked everyone's ass. He does. He dances what around. The fuck is going and then we the actually costumes. found me in the game. <laughs> That's why you need to watch the fucking YouTube. Um, there's, no, a, there's a dude that costume, actually dude. has glasses, wears a duster. <laughs> um, no, no, I don't trying to remember the metal mouth part of it. What the fuck? Hey, Bill, dude. what was the name of that guy that, that we looked at it and said, oh shit, it's me? From Battle Arena Toshin in 3? I don't remember his name. He Wasn't it like Dan? Coat? Yeah, he's, he's got a trench coat, he's got a ponytail, he wears glasses, and he uses a chainsaw. <laughs> 
Dude, He's like, so by the way, fuck you, chainsaw. And you go, wait, what? <laughs> and then while you're on the ground, he just shoots you with a pistol. Most characters oh, yeah. get like a grenade or a mine they can throw down. No, he, he whips out a pistol and just pew, 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 pew. And then when you get up, he does a psycho crusher across the screen with a chainsaw. You just don't screw with the man with the chainsaw, Bill. Dude. It doesn't happen. That game is really weird, too, because if you play the second one, you have you have no knights. expectation for there ever being another one. And not only is there another one, but it's actually a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those games that are so bad, they're actually kind of fun. Oh no, Battle Arena Toshi Nin 2 is absolute garbage. I would rather play the really, really <laughs> bad Star Wars Masters of Terra and Kai or whatever the hell it is that I gave to Bill because I actually owned that game. But Bill is the holder of all of our collection because I have a tendency of trading shit in because I need space. So I give all this stuff to Bill. I'm like, here, Bill, this goes on the shelf. And then he goes, fuck, I can't get rid of this. I'm like, no. No, you can't. That's why Silver Surfer's still sitting there. I was kind of wondering how you had such a huge collection in the background and in the videos. I'm like, okay, that, a lot that. of that is no, Bill. No, no. There's a couple of things that go into that. I've been collecting for decades, literally, and very few things do I ever, ever sell. Mm -hmm. Like, unless we get duplicates. If I have yeah. duplicates, or if I know that its usefulness has definitely passed. If there's even a chance I'm gonna play it again, I keep it. And um, I go the about Super the Nintendo, shops. I had bought half the Super Nintendo and my collection doubled overnight You're welcome. when Seth come over and he was like, brah, and just dropped all these games on me. And I was like, what is this? And he's <laughs> like, well, of my he's, collection. Like, he's like, my stepmom used to work for uh, Second video. Cinema or whatever, Hollywood Video, yeah. and uh, there. And I'm like, holy shit. So that's where a lot of that came from. The PlayStation 2. PS2 stuff just kind of from everybody. It, yeah. it kind of, like, kinda okay, true. when I started the show, I had, a, uh, I had a shelf. I had a shelf, and then... People started giving me stuff. Like it was real. I never expected it. I never asked for it. But like, I started coming across issues where like guys at work and whatnot would be like, "Hey, you've been doing that show," and I'm like, "Yeah." And they like, "I got these games. I don't play." And they would just bring me things. And sometimes they were things that I was like, "You're just gonna give me this?" Like they gave me the uh, the ki they gave me Killer Instinct. They just handed it to me, like the original Super Nintendo game. And I was like, "Are you sure you don't want me to pay for this?" Because like. Like, that game's about 60, 70 money. bucks. Yeah. And they're like, I'm not going to play. Well, not anymore. They got Killer Instinct out on the Xbox One now. As for the movies that you see in the background, nobody gives me those. I, I, I will not rent a movie because for $5, I could own the movie, and what is the point? Mm -hmm. That collection that you see behind me, that's, that's been a long, long, long time. It wasn't something that built overnight. It's, it's years, decades of collecting. Actually, well, well, some of it was Bill. overnight, like when we were like, here's shit, you were like, oh God. Well, well yeah. Hey, Bill, you, you should let people know what your Christmas gift from your dear younger brother was this year. Oh, he got me, um, he got me Chrono Trigger, uh, Super Mario RPG, and, um, what was the third one? Super here? Metroid. Oh, and the Super Metroid, yep. Each of those games are probably close to 50, 60 plus bucks a piece. I paid 80 for all three. Nice. I bought them off of two different people. One of them was one of my coworkers, and one was some guy getting rid of some of his stuff. And I just happened to see he had like, oh, I don't know, Final Fantasy III, um, Shadowrun, and a few other rare Super Nintendo games. I was like, oh, oh shit. This guy seems like he was a collector. Hey, by any chance do you happen to have blah or blah? And he's like, yeah, I think I got both those at home. Bring them to me tomorrow, I'll buy them off you. So I was the guy that always went around to the pawn shops to check out just to see what I could find every, every paycheck. And if I happened to find something awesome, I'd go pick it up. I actually found in Pekin, um, when they were still selling games out of their pawn shop, I found a copy of Mike Tyson's Punch Out on the NES. Not Punch Out with Mr. Dream, because fuck that guy. <laughs> no, legit 
gonna bite your ear off, Mike Tyson is in that game. It's, he will. You gotta watch out for that guy. He gets, he gets hungry mid-match. Wait, wait, wait. So, so I'm guessing you haven't seen the video where he gave the ear back to Evander Holyfield. <laughs> How long ago was this? Or was that right after the fight? I think it was just this year the video was released. No, I was wondering oh, like, when that, when that, like when he gave it back. Because honestly, year. after a small period of time, I would not want that chunk of ear back. <laughs> it would be like rotten or something. And even if he kept it in formaldehyde, that would just make me want to throat punch him. You kept my ear for how many years, you prick? <laughs> well, I remember, Bow! I remember I watched that fight when it happened. I had the pay-per-view that night, and I actually saw that go down, like, right there. That's, that's messed up shit that somebody just does that. I'm sorry. Throw a bunch of shit. I, I mean, no, face. just, how, how can you possibly justify biting someone's ear off, basically, in the middle of a fight? Like a, a sport event fight. Now I was gonna say. Now honestly, if yeah, I was, I was out in the, middle, in the middle of a fight, if I, I walk out into the parking lot and then suddenly, you know, like six fucking people decide to jump me, which I highly doubt because nobody wants to jump this guy. I'm brittle and old. I have no money. So one, you're telling me two, if six dudes three, jumped you in the parking four, lot tonight, you're not biting yeah. ears? Okay, no. We got five. No? We need another guy. No, I'm going to kick them in the dick. <laughs> That's six dicks you got to kick. That's fine. <laughs> I'll kick a couple dicks. I mean, I kick Shane constantly. He's a walking dick. Look, that's, there's six dicks and 12 ears. You got a much better chance at the biting. <laughs> no, because if I'm biting, that means I'm opening myself up to a lot of other things. If I'm using mine feet... Mind feet? Mind feet. Mind feet. Yes. It is good to use nine feet. <laughs> Look, just remember rule number uh, one of a fight. Don't let me get behind you. You will end up on the ground and I will attempt to sit on top wow. of you. Wow. It, it only took me an hour to finally do a voice. That, I, that is a lot of self-restraint right there and I don't know why I was doing it. I'm usually the, I'm the voice guy of the group. So... Which Bill, is, Bill's the leader. Scott's the guy who comes up with all the crazy random shit that sometimes shows up at our door going, Hey, we should do this. What the fuck is that? <laughs> God damn it, Scott has flown out of our mouths a few times. Especially because it's like, Oh, hey guys, don't worry. I got the pictures from the new Sentai. What the fuck is that, Scott? Um, God damn it, Scott. That show, I'm telling you, that'll blow your mind. Like, that, that really is our biggest show. We do a show, the Sentai Review. It's on YouTube, and the only thing we do, I don't know why it got so popular, they put an image up on the screen, and we talk about the image. And that's really the only thing we do. But holy shit, man. When the Megazord yeah. pulls its dick out, <laughs> there are so many things you could talk about on that Japanese show. Uh, it's unbelievable. Wait, wait, was that other than the Train Ranger one, was, or is that, that the Train Tio, Ranger? That was Teal Cougar. Okay. That, that's the one with the, the Q that fucked Shane up. Yeah, okay. It's got a Q in it, so it's fucking with him. Well, and, and there, a there is a lot of different Power Rangers shows that are weird as shit when it comes to their mechs. The they Train Rangers the is one of the weirdest because it's a giant robot with train arms, train legs, and a giant train dick. It's... It flips down, Dude, it's, it's right and then it fires its, its rail gun. What, what's even worse is he, he holds it up on his chest, right? And then when he wants to kill the enemy, it he flips stands down. up and it flips down, and it's out like here. Oh and then the train uh -huh. shoots the tr off of his crotch, and he's like, BAM! <laughs> and you are dead. When you get train dicked, you are dead. <laughs> It's the end of the fight, okay? Again, we made the joke. It will run a train on you. <laughs> much like, the rail much gun. like it's rail gun. That show, that show will shock you because we don't know what we're getting into half the time. And then the image comes up and we're like, oh my God, we have to talk about that fucking thing. Like the new... Okay, they're not new now, thank God they're done. Yeah. But the Animorph fucking weird animal rangers one is an elephant man 
One is a lion man. One is a shark lady. What was the other? Oh, one's a bird, but he's never actually a bird. He's just a dude. Oh, yeah. Red is actually just normally a dude, but he's supposed to be like a... And this image came up on the screen that I swear it stopped the show. We were like, that's kind of weird, and that's kind of new, and that's fine. And then this image comes up with this lion man and an elephant lady, and they're walking in a shopping center with shopping bags, and the elephant's like, and then the, the <laughs> dude's like next to her, and they're shopping, like doing like, but dude, this Yeah, they're image, doing like grocery shopping in a mall, like they're walking around with like a bag full of like, bread and bananas and shit but i mean it's like a literal like baguette loaf hanging out the fucking thing with a banana and, yeah and then and there was the bowling is, one and these oh, yeah, are the, the reasons yeah. why we sometimes go god damn it scott the yeah. show just stopped like, they're laughing back. like we didn't even know what we were supposed to do like it came shit. up and there was like an elephant eating french fries and that's power rangers so we're supposed to be talking about the super sentai power rangers but I don't know what I'm supposed to talk about now because there's an elephant and a shark sharing a plate of fries while some dude is like looking through the window, like his face is pressed up against the window and he's like... He's staring like, what are these animals? And that's the image we got around? that we were supposed to review. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm supposed to say about this. Like, I, don't know, I have no idea what is happening anymore. This must have been one of the days that I missed. Yeah, you missed it. Jay actually sat in the... It would have been oh, one of the... Oh, shit! Uh, it would have been one of the lowest rated uh, shows that we've reviewed. But Except for Jay Jason. But Jay forgot that uh, we rate out of five instead of out of ten. God damn it, Jason. So he Same technically got a it. high score. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's still not as bad as, uh, oh God, which one what, is the it? What, the Baby Bib Rangers? No, no, not Baby Bib Rangers. Uh, uh, the one where the Black Ranger tried to off himself. <laughs> oh, he did. He tried to shoot himself in the face. He was done with that show. Yeah. He literally takes his gun I and that was the, at it like... I thought that was the Jetman one. That was the Jetman. Oh, yeah. That's the Jetman. Jetman. <laughs> All the Rangers are standing there with their guns pointed. And Except for the Black Ranger, he's just like into the barrel of it. Oh my God! And I'm like, I'm like, okay, I guess he's done. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's done, done with the new show. Ranger. I don't know. Nobody kills me but me. Nobody kills me but me. And then Shane was like, I told you, I told you, I'm not wearing that costume. Rather die. <laughs> Rather die. Rather die. They were like, and Shane was like, I'm gonna fight monsters. And you guys are gonna be like, you got to morph. And he's like, I'd rather die. <laughs> he's like, I don't need to morph. It's oh, fine. Oh, oh, Although, don't that get me wrong. Too. If you want Scott to feel bad, uh oh. Battle Fever J. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the slow pipe move of. Now let me tell you 1979. <laughs> the same year I'm born. Oh yeah, that's your birthday. <laughs> yeah, those are your birthday Rangers. Yeah. Those are your birthday Rangers. Let's celebrate you, sir. With the <laughs> Russian Pharaoh. Yeah. Yeah, a Russian Pharaoh. Oh, and there's Pharaoh. Kazakh Ranger. Yeah, yep, and Kazakh Miss America. Ranger. Oh yeah, the yeah, American Miss, Ranger there's a, there's who literally a has a blonde Miss America. Wig. Uh, Miss America. Um, Okay, you know Power Ranger costumes, right? Yeah. Okay, relatively, they're all about the same. Except Actually, you hold on, wait. Miss America. Who, hold on a second, Bill. Who here has never seen anything of a Power Ranger show? Or even anything along the lines oh, of that? Oh, dude. Yeah. Okay. okay, good. So her costume <laughs> is... It's like blue boots, exposed legs, a one-piece type of leotard, no sleeves, gloves, and then a she weird... has a helmet, and her hair is exposed. It looks like a wig. Yeah, yeah it looks it's like, like a, a wig, wig on the helmet. Oh, wait, wait, like, wait, just, all right, just to oh, help oh, you out. And a metal. Like, mouthpiece. don't worry, we're gonna get a helmet on you. It's gonna get you. It's gonna Here. keep you protected. Yeah, it literally looks like that kind of. <laughs> but we're gonna cut the top off because we want your hair to show. And Do her what? name was Miss America. She's the 1975 female ranger of those, of those characters. For America. Yeah, that, that's who represented us in their show. See, honestly, all that tells me is well, the been, Japanese back then. That guy with a flag and an AK-47? <laughs> no, no, that's no, now. No, no, no. Um, actually, yeah. actually um, we did get that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> with another Spider ranger show. 
No, no, th there was that one fat guy who was. Oh yeah, the fat guy ranger. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a fat guy ranger in one of the I, shows. I, I we think got he was part of the There's ranger. two fat guy rangers. He was. Oh, orange. he's part of the the twelve. And yeah, he wears yeah, a yeah. cowboy hat when he morphs. He has a cowboy hat built yeah. into yeah. his helmet. What? I'm telling you, this show would blow your mind. This is all we do is we just look at the images, and then we're forced to talk about them. Kind of like how the opener was actually inspired because of our show. Yeah. We were literally going over O Ranger, which was Zeo here in we were, America. I thought, no, I thought we were the doing robos, the toys. The yeah, mechas. we were. We were doing, we were doing oh, the yeah. swords, and the terrible toys kept popping up because, of course, the toys have to look like shit. So when you put them together, the Megazord looks awesome. Right. Like, it's got to be like certain. Each dimensions. individual <laughs> one's like. If you remember. Blocky piece of shit. Yeah. Blocky piece of shit. Final product when you put everything together. Holy shit, it's a Pikachu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you remember, when it came down to Zeo, the Yellow Ranger had like the equal sign visor. So the Zord was basically a yellow equal sign. We said, Shane, it's Christmas morning. You get that toy under your tree. How Here's disappointed like, yeah, are you? How disappointed is your Christmas? <laughs> And ever since then, and I mean, that was literally like, what, four or five months ago? It, it, it's more oh, yeah. like overtaken Shane Butcher's name. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah we also be. had the Shane Butcher's name segment of the show, where it's like, Shane, pronounce this. He's like, ah, oh, fuck. I don't think Japanese is like a shib good jib masa ha 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 Oh, wait, there was a Q there. Yeah. There's a Q there, it's fucking with me. He said there's a Q there, it's fucking with me. And then anytime I'm there, I'm just trying to be like, Shane, it's pronounced Kyojin. A Kyujaba, I'm not fuck it, I give up. All oh. right, thanks, Shane. Plus, plus people oh. on oh, the comments are saying that Zoo Ranger ones will be is like, pronounced Shane, with a J instead of a Z. No, it is. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> it is. It's pronounced with a J. It's just like uh, it's just like a lot of people call it like the Zeong at the end of at the end of Gundam 0079, the original One Year War anime. That's actually the Zhong, like the Zhong. It's it is pronounced with a J. Yeah. So it says Dong. It's kind of like no. Jew Rangers. <laughs> well, well, it's it, it's the Zhong, which is like the precursor to the Dong Gundam. Pretty sure I don't want to see that Gundam. So Which remember, is a precursor to the to the uh, Train Rangers giant mech that they have. Remember when the Wii was out? Oh, and, and uh, that special yeah. attachment? And remember when I went to your store I and I got that kid? I so much I got that, that kid, I told him that they were releasing an attachment. I was like, it's amazing. They're actually releasing an, a new, new thing for the Wii. And it's gonna have, it's gonna play DVDs, and it's gonna scale everything up, and it's gonna bring the Wii to the same kind of power that the other systems are using. And he's like, dude. And I told him all this great shit that it was gonna do, and he was like, what is this thing? And I was like, they're calling it the NUR. And you'll connect it to the Wii. And this dude bought into it, like he was really into it. He was this like, I can't poor wait to bastard get the walks up to the counter. <laughs> you ordered a NUR! And he was like, hey, Hey man, uh, can I pre-order that new thing for the Wii? I was like, huh? And he's like, yeah, that that NUR attachment for the Wii. And Bill's in the back of my store going, <laughs> and I looked at him as like, no, unfortunately, we're actually not taking pre-orders on that just yet because we still don't have a release date. But check back with us. <laughs> the kid left because I was finally able to talk him into just like calling back in a couple weeks. I can't wait And to I stared right across the store. My boss walks in. And Bill is fucking <laughs> losing his shit on the floor. I almost I've got a case a in my hand getting ready to whip it at him. And my boss at the time, Ryan, was like, Nick, what the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, I need to kill my brother. And then we explained it. My boss started losing his shit. Dude, I almost sold that Four kill weeks later. Oh no, you don't know this part of the story. Four weeks later, every day. <laughs> every fucking day I worked that week. The same kid called. Hey, heard the nerve was supposed to be coming out. Not yet. <laughs> it's not coming yet. You gotta work it a little bit. <laughs> 
fourth day I worked that week, that's actually the joke I pulled. He finally caught into it. He was like, oh, I was like, I was trying to warn you a month ago about that. He's like, oh. I love it. Some people do. Shane does, except because it's not in his book, he's a little disappointed. It's not, there's not one in that book anyway. And the best part is, like, I think it was like two months after you started cracking that joke with everybody, Nintendo's like, hey, by the way, we're coming out with a new console. It's called the Wii U. Mine was better. And I was like, they God damn that it. Thing the nerd. His exact words were, <laughs> mine's better. It was, it was, I don't care. I mean, I mean, the Wii U's kind of okay, but mine was better. I worked at Radio Shack for a while, and uh, my boss was there one day. I wasn't there, and this little old lady came in. And you had to watch out for little old ladies, well, especially the, if they carry a cane. No, that wasn't the problem. What the problem was, her, she came in and said her grandson wanted her to get him a specific item for Christmas, and that you could get it at Radio Shack. Okay. She comes up to my manager and asks, uh, do you guys sell air guitars? And he goes, Hold on a second, I gotta <laughs> move this real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and he was he, But he but Nick, it, was, Nick, it's like, the same thing as free shrugs. No. And he was like, what kind of guitars? She's like well, my grandson wants an air guitar for Christmas. He goes, do you know what an air guitar is? She goes, no. And he goes, that little shit. He <laughs> <laughs> um, walks away. Short, shorts is getting his. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm just glad that like a lot of pranks nowadays that people keep trying to pull on some of us retail employees, they can't... Yeah, actually, that's where I was actually getting at. Oh, Certain Battletoads. things they cannot do to us anymore. Yeah, because Battletoads is available now. Battletoads is available for the Xbox One. Yep. By, by Rare Replay. Oh, and it's also part of Kill, Killer Instinct, too. There you go. So, jokes that we used to get all the time before certain things have come out. It was like, hey, do you guys got battle toads? <laughs> oh, how about, how about Call of Booty? No, but we have Carl on duty. Huh? <laughs> Carl along? No, just, just Carl on duty, Black Cops 2. Hmm. If somebody... I'd rather play that than Call of Duty. Cause, At cause, least the new one. Because I heard of one that some <clears throat> pranker was like, oh, do you have co Cock of Duty? No, Black but we Cops got Call 2. of Booty. Your mom is actually the main character. Jeez! I've actually countered with that. <laughs> Jeez! I'm my my boss them. Ryan laughed his ass off at that one too, and then he said, "Don't do that again." I would have just sold them Leisure Suit Larry. I don't. <laughs> we were actually out of Leisure Suit Larry. Otherwise, I would have. Why is that game still around? Like that game has lasted a long time. Wasn't it a download it... too recently? I don't know. <laughs> there's there's too many of them to keep track of anymore. Uh, I mean, hell, there's too many for them to keep track of because they actually lost the third game. It goes Leisure Suit Larry 1, 2, 4. Yeah. yeah. And they refer back to the third one as the Lost Floppies. Yep. Yeah. Floppy. <laughs> well, it's back in, back in the <laughs> day when the Leisure Suit Larry games were being created, they actually used floppy, or floppy disks to save all their data. They didn't have all the big hard drives and stuff because back then, uh, five megabyte hard drive was pretty hard fucking core. You're like, shit, you got five megabytes? Dude. I remember my first. My first computer was Everybody like 249 first, megs. Like, yeah, I was, it, like, I was like, oh shit, I can save so much. Well, back then, like a text file was like 12. Where'd you start? My first computer was an IBM home PC, and its hard drive was 8 megabytes. Yeah. Damn, hard, cool. You could save three text files, <laughs> depending on how big they were. <laughs> three yeah. text files. But upside is, you could go surf the internet. Yeah. Oh it just took a minute. <laughs> oh, no, I mean through DOS. Yeah. If you were skilled enough, you could do it through DOS. Yeah, There's a lot of fun things yeah. that you can do with DOS. Um, back in the day, my dad and a buddy of his used to do email bombs to each other just to fuck with each other. 
because they, they were co-workers. So they would get into a heated argument at work or something, and one would decide to be, be that generous asshole that they were and be like, all right, I got you. So I'd send one, uh, so a buddy of mine, or my, yeah, my dad's buddy sent him an email bomb that popped up a shit ton of gay porn uh, pop-ups. <laughs> Just, he opened it up, had to shut down the computer. Dad took exception to this. So dad sent an email, email bomb back to his buddy. Um, who here knows anything about computers whatsoever? All right, do you all know what BASIC is? All right, BASIC is the programming language that all computers run off of, zeros and ones, true, false. So your hard drive, That's all... the room with the boobs. <laughs> yeah, we're That's here. That's what's happening right now. You know, we should almost take a field trip to the boobs. What? Nah, I'm kidding. Well, I mean, we, we got this, these back doors that we could go through. Oh, shit. See, <laughs> field trip. That's exactly, that's exactly what it is. That's what you, we were up against. You're trying to go through the back door to get boobs? We, uh... Hey, whatever that works. That's how it works, guys. <laughs> tonight, <laughs> it works, guys. Tonight, we were up against the burlesque show. It was, that, that was starting Well, it was either go up against the burlesque show... we're not doing back door of the Megazord. Dude, See, the thing is, it was either go up against the burlesque show or go up against 9 a.m. on a Sunday. Yeah. Oh man. Take a pick. That was our first. That was our first. That was show last year. We, we were got... we were at eleven o'clock in the main events, Sunday morning <laughs> the convention. Everyone was either still asleep and hungover, or packing up and getting ready to get the fuck out of here because it was cold. Oh, but anyways, too. yeah, it was. But anyways, um, so computers written zeros and ones. My dad rewrote my buddy's, or his buddy's hard drive in twos and threes. Guess what you can't recover from? Because when you try to boot it up, it doesn't recognize that it, it exists because it doesn't understand two and three. It understands zero and one. It understands that perfectly. But the second you throw in some other numbers, because those just don't get along. Great, now I'm getting a southern draw. I'm tired. I think I might have caught a cold. You know, I, you know, I think it's time for me to have a little bit of my uh, vaccine. So, you guys talk. Well, if I don't want to, just talk before I fucking bite your head off. Actually, that might be here in a few minutes. Eh, fair enough. If I collapse on the ground and die, just kick me off to the side and run for the hills, Bill. <laughs> Pretty sure that's a can do. I mean, we really we were just gonna, gonna give me anyway. a straight look. That's fine. <clears throat> I'll be all right. You sure? I told you, vaccines are for everybody this weekend. I just taken mine early. Well, where the fuck is mine? <laughs> I already told you, men in hazmat suits will be delving out all the vaccines after the convention tomorrow. That but way, I'm everyone's not be good. Here I got well, shit don't to do. worry. I will call in a special group just for you. And Umbrella Corps will actually pay for it all by themselves. You don't have to worry about it. You Yay! Can, you can enjoy that side effects of 4-H-E and Tasty. <laughs> Bill, so what I'm you got? I'm passing it on to you. I was thirsty. Back to you, Bill. <coughs> what? <Hello>. Come on. <laughs> I went back to Best Buy. <laughs> uh -oh. That's what I was waiting on. Here we go. Man, everybody loves this. I don't know why. I have the worst luck in the world with Best Buy. Who, uh, who here likes or knows some Best Buy? You enjoy Best Buy? You like that place? All right. No? Show of hands of everyone who shopped at Best Buy. Show of hands who's actually had a good customer experience at a Best Buy. Now who's lying their asses off? <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay. So before we get started, am I going to offend somebody if they've been around Best Buy? Because holy shit, <coughs> Best Buy shits on me more than any other customer in the history of Best Buy. Get on it, Bill. Let's start with experience one for Best <laughs> well, Buy. Well, actually, before you get into this, <coughs> quick side note. Scotty couldn't find his hat for his uh, costume today. So he's looking up a new hat online at Walmart and I'm like 
Well, you better make sure that you double check that it's actually there in the store because if it's not in the store, oh. you're going to have the same problem I did when I went to Best Buy because BestBuy.com says, oh, yeah, we have two terabit solid state hard drives for like a couple hundred. And I said, cool, I'll get that. So I go to Best Buy. They ain't got shit. So I warned him. I said, hey, Bill's already had shit experiences. I've had shit experiences. Just be careful with this whole online bullshit, just to be yeah, on the safe side. I know. <laughs> he at least gets in today and gets his fucking hat from Walmart. Yeah, I actually went to Walmart instead of... Apparently their website cannot do like a ship to store or pick up from store, so it's like... It's a $10 hat. <laughs> yeah. How can you not do a pick up from store for a $10 hat? Because nobody's because if got Best Buy is any god... <laughs> Comparison. But this is Walmart, not Best Buy. Yeah, <laughs> That's why it's like and Best Buy does not carry hats like this. So anyway. Anyway. Sorry, guy. So experience number one, Bill. Yay. Okay, let's talk about Best Buy. I don't know why people love this. <laughs> Fuck the Best Buy. <laughs> Everybody remembers when Bravely Default came out. Okay, 3DS game, Bravely Default. It was almost impossible to find. And I happen to be driving around looking for this thing. I come across Best Buy, and they have a big sign at the front of their store. A freaking memorial. It's, it's like this, okay? Like, it's like that thing right there. It's in the middle of the store. When you walk in, there's got the thing. The projector. Okay. Yeah. No. About that size. And it says, word for word, bravely default, sold here. With an empty rack. And no tags on the rack. So I'm looking at it, and I'm like, okay, huh. So I go back to the game section, and there's a dude there. And he, yeah, I get his attention, I'm like, excuse me. And he's like, yeah? And I was like, bravely default? And this guy says, what is it? I said, well, it's, what? It's a game. It's a game, 3DS, uh, Bravely Default. And he says, yeah, never heard of it. And I said, you walk past the same fucking kiosk that I do, <laughs> and you do it every day. So I'm like, that's fine, whatever. There's another sign over on the racks, and I was like, I'll find it, but fuck it. So I walk over there, and it's got a sign, and it says, Bravely Default sold here. So that's twice that I've seen the same advertisement. So I'm looking around the racks. There's no tags. There's no space, there's no area to put the game if they had the game, and I'm completely confused. I'm like, what is going on? So I go over and I ask this dude, I'm like, I'm like, can you check for me? Bravely default. And he says, let me check my computer first. And he goes over to the computer and he types in something, and he says, let me check the back. And he leaves. And I waited. And then I waited more. And I looked around the store. And then I bought a movie. And then I came back. And he still wasn't there. And he comes out of the back as if he'd been on break. And as he's walking out to the front, he sees me. And he's like... And his face just like changed, like, oh shit. I thought he was one of those problems, like ignore him and he'll go away. So he comes up to me and he says, I couldn't find it back there. And I'm like, dude, it has been 40 minutes. It has literally been 40 fucking minutes. And he's like, I looked all over. <laughs> and I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me with this place. And I said, all right, fine. So I leave. I literally walk down the, down the path, go into Target. They have a little sign, little. It's like one of those little tiny things and it says, bravely default. And there's like 27 copies underneath the sign. And I was like, come on, this is Target. So I bought it. Then a couple weeks later, they come out with this other game. They, uh, they re-released um, Tales of Symphonia on... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they re-released Tales version. of Symphonia on the PS3, HD version. 
I'm driving around, I went to two places and I couldn't find it. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> I'll stop by fucking Best Buy. I go into the store, go to the back, I'm looking all over the racks and everything like that. I cannot find this game. And I don't want to ask for help. Finally, I can't find it, but I have no choice. I need to make sure. So I go up to buttfuck employee number one. I'm like, excuse me, buttfuck employee number one. I'm looking for Tales of Symphonia. And this guy says, Symphonia. Symphony. No. Symphonia. Symphonia. Symphonia? Symphonia. Well, I've never heard of that. That's, that's fucking great. So we're going to play this game again. I said, well, that's what I'm looking for. So this guy walks over to the rack, looks across the rack. <laughs> then he picks one up, throws it in my hand, and says, last copy. And I said, this is Tales of Exalia. Now, I don't know if I need to play the fucking Sesame Street game with you here, <laughs> but you just verified the word by mouth. You said Symphonia back to me, and you still managed to grab the wrong shit. And he was like, huh. So that's not what you're looking for. Are you fucking kidding me? No. So this guy says to me, and I love this fucking response. Let me check in the back. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> it gets better. So this dude leaves. And once again, I'm walking around the racks and there's nobody out there. He comes back with some other guy. This is buttfuck employee number three. We're skipping two. <laughs> Buttfuck employee number three comes up and says to me, now what is it exactly you're looking for? And I said, I'm looking for Tales of Symphonia. And this guy says, and we have that. That's why I'm asking. I don't know. I'm looking for you to tell me if you have it. And he's like, hmm, okay. So he goes over to the rack, looks around, and he picks up, I swear to you, no. Tales of fucking Exalia. No. And he hands it to me. And I'm like, this, this, this is unfucking believable. And I'm like, no, this is not, this is not what I'm looking for. Tales of Symphonia. Like, Sim, S, S. It's got a s sound. Like, can you please try again? And he's like, you know what, I'll just have somebody look that up on the computer for you. And I said, that would be great. <clears throat> so they take me over to buttfuck employee number two. <laughs> now buttfuck employee number two, he gets on his computer and he's like, da 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 da. And then he doesn't say anything to me, he just walks away. <laughs> I don't know where he went. I'm standing by the computer. I don't know why I'm still fucking here. And the whole time, my car is running outside. I'm supposed to be right back. I got two of these people in the truck waiting for me outside while this is going on. So I'm burning gas the whole time this is happening. And I'm waiting for this dude to come back. I don't know what happened to the dude. So I start walking around again. And I see this dude. And now he's over in the TVs, on the computer, helping some other lady. So I decide, fuck on this. Just gotta go ahead and leave now. So I leave Best Buy, <coughs> and I make a phone call to Shane, and I'm like, Shane, please buy Tales of Symphonia. And he's like, oh yeah, it's right here on the counter. And he buys it from GameStop. Okay, that's fine. It's probably what I should have done first off. But the one that I went to oh. didn't have it. Now, recently, as I have managed to avoid Best Buy like the fucking plague, I went back. 
I don't know why I went back. I knew nothing good could come of it. Bill, the reason why you went back is every great saga has to be a trilogy. Yeah. It was and have blue it was episode four, a new butt fucking. Dude, it's so much, dude. Episode five, Best Buy Strikes Back. No, the butt fucking no, strikes no, back. No, Best Buy Strikes Back. Mm-hmm. Episode six was Return of the Bill. <laughs> so I go into this Best Buy. <laughs> And I'm looking to buy that Star Trek. Oh, the Star oh, Trek yeah, Next Generation. Yep. That I was Star there for. Star Trek Next Generation I was there for this. Blu-ray. <laughs> now I go up. There are two racks. One rack has Star Trek The Next Generation. One rack has Star Trek The Original Series. They're tagged. One says Star Trek The Next Generation. 70 bucks. And I Blu-ray. Said, I said... Well, that's really good. I'm gonna spend that money. So I picked it up and I went to the front and the dude said, beep, and then he put it in the bag and then he said, 160. And I just was kind of dumbfounded, like, no, no, you see there's this, there's this rack. That's where I, that's where I got it from. And it's 70 bucks. And he says, I did scans is 160. So I'm like, why does this always happen to me? So I go to the rack again. It's very obviously 70 bucks. Now what had somehow happened was they switched all of the original series on this rack over to the next generation rack and switched all of the stuff on the next generation rack to the original series rack. And the only thing the tag says is Star Trek. That's it. There's no indicator as to what it's supposed to be. So once again, I go to a place where they screw me and I'm looking to make a fourth trip sometime in the future. I don't know why. No, don't. I need to. I need to see what else they could do to me. Best Buy and Bill Awakens. Dude. Yeah. yeah. That'll be the yeah, next episode. And he'll just go, fuck this place. I just don't get it. See, actually, Bill, after story number two happened, I went back to that Best Buy about a week and a half later. And I went to the back and I said, hey, do you guys happen to have Tales of Symphonium? But before I did that, I went checked the racks, and I made eye contact with the game. I picked it up, held it in my hands, Tales of Symphonia Chronicles, sweet, got it in hand, set it back down. And I walked back over to the guy and I said, hey, do you guys got uh, Tales of Symphonia for the uh, PS3? The guy was like, no, but hold on a second, let me check that on the computer for you. Yeah, we don't carry that. We don't carry that in stores or even on the website. I said, oh, okay. So I walked back. The 40 feet it took me to get back to where I was, I picked up the game. And I walked right back past that guy. And I said, oh, hey, man, thanks for, thanks for uh, helping me find my Tales of Symphonia game. Maybe the first game. That guy went white as a sheep. So... Best Buy employees are a bunch of lying pricks. Well, you gotta kind of consider the source of this area. I mean, they're not exactly hiring MIT students. To no, actually, their not. Geek Squad people are worse than a back alley crack surgeon. There's a reason they're working at Best Buy for Geek Squad. They couldn't get anywhere else. So let's be honest. Our panel is pretty much done. And if yeah, we've learned anything the tonight... Wavy thing of death. If we've yeah, learned anything at all tonight, it is that... Best don't go to Best Buy. <laughs> no, no, no. I was going to say that we learned something about Shane's... Uh, yeah, Shane's Christmas <laughs> preferences. I now know what he's getting <laughs> next year. He's going to get a uh, get a very special... You going to read that book, Shane? Dude, uh, it, it was going to be an anatomically correct Ken doll. There was nothing, I'm telling you. <laughs> well, the problem is... 
Zek literally was like, I'm going to buy Shane Yowie. Yep. So he reaches, flips Just, open a thing, and goes, that one. Yeah. I, I literally, I just kind of grabbed one at random, and I was like, eh, yeah, this will work. Yeah, See, not? honestly, you should have asked the judge. Yeah, yeah, technically I should have. She would have been a better judge. But thank but you, I, folks, for coming in and listening to us yammer for two hours. Hopefully we didn't bore you too much. If we offended you, well, we warned you. Yeah, it's kind of I don't remember giving a warning. I did, right at the yeah, beginning. I said, I said, if you are easily offended, do not like cussing or this guy's big tits, this is not the show for you. <laughs> Again, it's a perky, the perky bees, man. Come on. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be around next year for a panel. If you would like to check us out, go on to YouTube. We are the Phantom Knights. We also have a website, phantomknight.com. And remember, it's Fandom Night, F-A-N-D-O-M. And the night is spelled like, you know, the, the knights of the round table type of deal. Arthurian Knights. Not, not the Arabian, but the Yeah, my husband's actually boyfriend, Hey guys, did you like that podcast? If so, remember to check out FandomNight.com. At FandomNight.com, you can drop a line to this show, or you can check out other podcasts as well. We cover all kinds of topics, everything from comic books, wrestling, movies, TV shows, video games, animes, mangas. It's outrageous. We seem to have a podcast for just about everything, and you have access to it just by going over to FandomNight.com. So, Check it out, guys. We're going to get out of here.